Hey folks, this is the Chill Tech Podcast, and we're back after a long hiatus. I'm Christian, and Javon's with me. How's it going, Javon? What's going on, bro? What's happening, man? Yeah, you ready for this Microsoft uh, Windows 10 S event discussion? Right? Oh my goodness, dude. It's, been, <laughs> it's been forever, man. Yes, it's, it's been, been a long forever. time. So, so what's been going on, man? Like, it's been what, like a <laughs> month, two months? Like, oh yeah, man. It's 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 been a long time. Any more kids now? What's 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 the deal? What's What's new? <laughs> ah, so 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 going with me, um, you know, because a lot of guys are like, "Hey, man, where the videos at? Do you remember that update video you made <laughs> back in November? Promising no more BS. Well, no more BS. Uh, but we've been working hard at work with the final touches on the website, which is done. May I add? So yeah, well, I'm gonna yes, say at the end of the show for that. Um, but I, I'm playing football again, man. Football. football, all right. So what do you think? Uh, Quarterback, running back. <laughs> what you doing? So, line, you know, so I'm playing linebacker right now. Um, but the issue is that uh, my I injured my foot like a mm. month before the season started, and it just set me back, man. I had a uh, separated tendon in the foot. So now, how'd you do that? Work. Helping my my parents move furniture. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I don't, you know, that's what I get for don't being a good person. When a season is coming up, Jovan. Yeah, I know. Got to take care know. of your body, man. Yeah, man. I, this is a hairy, here, here I am, right? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, man? What have you been up uh, to? Man, just all kind of stuff. I'm now at a undisclosed basement location dealing with water <laughs> issues at home. So that's why I've been kind of out of it for a while trying to get. So I got my new setup over here. <laughs> Zooming in, but um, yeah, man, just uh, some, some changes at work. So I'm I'm doing a little more SQL stuff now, trying to get my certifications done. Uh, first nice, exam nice. passed that last Friday, the 461. Uh, that was brutal. Let Let me just say, I spent the full two hours on that exam and still didn't answer two questions. <laughs> so but I so, passed it. So it's for people who don't know it. Then I'm kind of like. Kind of stuff is that like what is what does that do? So I'm learning uh, or getting certified in the SQL query language. So as far as databases, um, specifically SQL Server, and how to how to query the data, um, just all, all that kind of stuff. And so you know they, they'll have you say um, they, they'll show you a, a snippet of of script and they'll say hey um, fill in what's what's missing like freehand and you get partial credit for a partial answer. Like oh, that nice, kind of crazy nice. stuff, or they'll they, they'll have like like six snippets, uh, put the four correct ones in order. Dang, dang, crazy so, stuff, right? I'm, uh, you're running all the, the CTS website servers now, right? All web servers, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, I'll I'll be our new uh, CTS DBA, right? Yes, um, hey man, and hey, hey, yeah, when, yeah. when your computer comes up with that. Uh, you know, talk to your network administrator. You call us and talk to Christian. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, network administrator. so right now, actually, I'm prepping for the next exam, which is more on the uh, administration side. So I just set up last night uh, five virtual machines on my computer, so I can start playing around with that and getting that set up. So you know, okay, good stuff. Okay. Good stuff. So, okay. That's me. That's try me. Out, try out elementary OS, man. It's really good. <laughs> elementary OS. Just say, just say no plug or anything. Linux. <laughs> right. All right. John Doe said we should have hired a mover. I know, right? We uh, obviously. We should have. Obviously. We should have. We should have. Because of that, we set back three months in a UT. But um, I guess, should <laughs> we ask you know, the, the other guys, you know, besides our, our secret agent who we can't discuss too much about, Greg? Yeah, Gre Greg is on special, special assignment, deep undercover, so we can't really speak about it. But, you know, he'll, he'll report back, um, you know, thoughts yeah. and prayers with him. But you know, just, and uh, and Mike, man, you know, Mike, Mike's still here, guys. So he, he's not uh, gone. He's, he's he's on Mike, a date, guys. He's Mike, on a date. <laughs> Mike ditched us. Mike Mike, ditched us. Mike said, "Hey, um, I got this text, so peace." Yeah, yeah, Mike, Mike. pretty much. Well, but listen, Mike, we're proud of you. We love you, man. You know, yeah. Hey, you know, up. do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Yeah. Listen, not all of us can be single guys, you know, like me. <laughs> right. You know, just alone. Right Talking about YouTube's out there. Alone. <laughs> Suffering. <laughs> Suffering. Y'all heard that? Javon is taking numbers, emails, you know, <laughs> Twitter DMs, them. whatever. Hit him up. I'm going to slide in my DMs, guys. <laughs> he's, <right>? he's looking. <laughs> he's looking on the prowl. 
Oh, man. Oh. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that. We came here to talk about Microsoft. We did. Windows we 10 did. S. So, Jovan, what is Windows 10 S? What's that S stand for? What is this? That's a, that's a good question. Who knows? Is, is it school? <laughs> like, 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 do they know? Super. <laughs> It's school, right? And the thing, or slim, or is it school? Maybe, maybe school. Maybe, maybe it's S, like you know, like 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 in like video games, like there's like A, and like S is like like the, like the top level. And there's like this is, SS. This is not the top level. So it's, <laughs> it's not SS yet. Yeah, it's not SSS. But it's just, it's just yeah, S. It's maybe it's S. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but this is Windows 10 S, and it's a real operating system for Microsoft. It has been dubbed, um, if you guys follow the, the leaks and rumors online for a while, we've been posting some stuff on that on our Twitter page. Um, it is called, um, or it was previously called or dubbed Microsoft Cloud. And this is a light version of, of Microsoft's uh, current Windows 10 um, operating system. Kind of sounds like RT, kind of feels like RT, but somehow it doesn't. It kind of feels more complete. Fair? Yeah. I mean, the, the the main thing that I see about this versus RT is that this is still, you know, using the um, x86 infrastructure. So it's it's not using, you know, right. ARM processors and stuff. So this, this can run. This this is actual Windows. It's not like it's a different version. It's it's, it's a little more restricted. Um, so what's what's different between you know S and say Windows 10 Pro? So one of the the biggest differences, or I guess the most impactful differences, is going to be how applications and programs are loaded onto the computer. Um, so they're both x86, but the thing about x86, for, in, in lame terms for you guys who don't know what that means, right, your, your regular applications you download from the web store, I mean from the uh, web, from the internet, like um, Chrome, for example, and uh, Adobe Photoshop, or a video game. A lot of those things are only <clears throat> installed, um, you know, with a CD key or with a, um, launcher or something that allows it to pull a full program into the computer that that can't be done here um so no more exe files right yeah no 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 well nope. i guess is it, it would be i mean how, how does the packet no uh, right? they're, they're executables but how are they executing programs on the windows sensor well it's it's the universal windows app but that, is it a plug-in or something? So, I mean, so, I don't know. so it, it it must be some kind of separate security fr framework, right? Like only Actually, these are allowed to be certified to run or something. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's certified sign by Microsoft, yeah, it's, right? It's, it's, I yeah. think it's, it's packaged differently. On, on yeah, so it's like publisher-based, kind of like how you get the publisher stuff when you install regular programs now. But pretty much the, um, the difference with 10S is that you can only get your applications from the Microsoft Store, which is fairly complete, right? Fairly complete. It does lack some big fillers in between, but they are adding the full version of uh, Microsoft Office. They have a lot of games in there right now. Um, some of the big titles like um, uh, Gears of War Four, and what was the other one with the uh, the, the guy that can go back in time? Oh, I keep forgetting. Quantum. Quantum. Quantum Break or something. Quantum Quantum break. Quantum? Yeah, they're like yeah. Halo Wars Two, right? Halo Wars Two. So yeah. it has some games. It has some app, some productivity applications. It's Fairly, fairly featured, right? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, you're you're probably not gonna be getting Windows 10 S to play games, right? Um, it seems right, to be right. more focused towards people that would want a Chromebook, but maybe want Windows. You know, don't they yeah. don't, yeah. don't want to learn something new? So this is kind of basic. You know, they it's more difficult to break it, right? <laughs> you know, right, right. you're not gonna be able to install some random thing as easily. Um, so you're selling things that are verified through the store, which which is definitely a a leg up. Um, that's true. Now it's not it's not the Apple Store, although the Apple the Apple Mac Store is um, pretty weak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Com I, ironically, right? So, compared to the, yeah, uh, it's, you know. it's mostly trash. Yeah. I, <laughs> it's not much in there. There, um, are, so there I, are a few. I know. I noticed there are there's always like a few decent ones. You know, that they, they that would catch you out of nowhere. Um, yeah. I just unplugged my microphone. Hold on one second. I, I feel so unprofessional. I mean, it's pissed off. Hear you, so. you, you hear me, but it switched to my uh, webcam mic. I don't know how that happened. Um, <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's always something. Boom, 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 boom. 
And <laughs> all right, all right, all right, okay. And we're back. Ish. Uh, let me get this here plugged in. We need some kind yeah, of pause, be right back screen for, for next time. All right, there you go. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, better. Uh, I don't know if it's better, but it's 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 good. It's, I mean, it's, okay. it's not it's not robot Garney, so you know. We're, we're, we're <laughs> Poor Garney, shout out to Garney, man. Yeah, last, man. last show we had on that the, was on rough the, times, dude. But it was good. Yeah. It was good though. Glad to have him. Glad to have him. Oh yeah. So all right, yeah. so yeah, p- p- picking back up. So who who who's the main audience for this Windows 10 S? Uh, we were kind of getting into that. Yeah, bit. I think we're, we're we're getting there, right? Um, I I, I want to say, uh. Schools, right? Schools. I mean, that, that seemed very particular. Well, you know, Microsoft, they throw the words education and school a lot more than enterprise, which is, um, you know, interesting for a company that focuses on the enterprise. Yeah. So, and I guess the school is the enterprise, but in a different sub, sub form because well, right. you're dealing with students and teachers <clears throat> um, than corporate employees. So, um, yeah, this, this is a... This is seems to be targeted directly for Chrome OS and attack the school market, which is lacking right now. And a lot of the, um, you know, the students who use computers that are uh, Chromebooks and, and uh, Mac related or iPads tend to use other products down the road that are not Microsoft products. Right. So yeah, this, for is sure. Microsoft, this is Microsoft trying to wheel back in and capture that school market yep. and the young users of Microsoft. You know, before yeah, they are uh, young. Yep. Yeah, and as a creator. Yeah, I mean, they they had, they had a, a lot of cool features that I I'm not sure how many of the features were specific to Windows 10 S. Um, but, but as far as, yeah, as, far yeah. as classroom features that were concerned, they're showing like you know, um, they had this kind of like this classroom message board where the teacher could could you know converse back and forth with the, with, with all the students. Um, the teacher could could peer into the, to different computers and see what students were actually doing. Right. As far as the assignment and then post in the message board, you know, comments or suggestions to the whole classroom. So a lot of really cool stuff that I think could really change how classrooms run. And they were talking about how they, they, they look at a classroom and say, okay, this classroom shut down all the webcams, you know, like, yeah. like, yeah. Th- like that, that kind of stuff is very valuable in a school environment for sure. Definitely. But like you said, how much of that is actually dedicated for just Windows? 10s because they right. said a lot of things that you know you can switch easily switch on to windows 10 pro and right and stuff but i'm guessing for the devices that are going to be selling with this um operating system um will be a that more chromebook style range what makes it uh better performing computers than just buying really low-end budget windows uh 10 pro or 10 10 home laptops it seems to be a a gap stop in between 10 Pro and 10 Home, right? Yeah, yeah, I've heard for sure, for sure. So since since we're kind of leaning that direction, so you know, if 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 you were going to get something for for like a, like a classroom, or you know, even even for for yourself to have kind of a baseline kind of just run of the mill, get some basic stuff done. Would would would, would you get this Windows 10 S as far as an OS is concerned? To do all, okay, will that, that do you know what? everything you need? Um. Like compared to the competition, yeah, I, I could say Chrome OS or uh, even even you know Mac. You know what? That's a very good question because personally, um, from the environments that I've seen and and what I know, um, Chrome OS is doing very well and is that school market. And I didn't see enough from Windows 10 S to make people that are using Chrome um, to want to switch back to a Microsoft infrastructure. You know. Um, now, th- with that being said, a lot of the features that make Chrome OS so, you know, e- uh, good for that is that you can just plug in, um, the, let's see, device, ma- from an IT perspective, from, my, from our perspective, right. right, Chrome OS is just easier to manage overall. As a device manager, it built in, it's easy to manage. Anyone can pick up any hardware, sign in and pick off right where they left off, because it's all synced to your Gmail and your Google apps. I don't know if it's the same with, um, I know there's a domain sign-in, but it's very traditional still. You have to set up a domain, um, you know, yeah. in the school and make sure you can, that computer sign into the domain. And then once that happens, you have to make sure that you add 
the proper users to the proper groups. There's still Active Directory involved. There's so many things that make it Windows that it, it takes that simplicity away to the educators who are just not that tech savvy. Right. And it makes right. it more complicated for an IT department to have to manage Active Directory with you know all this extra device management stuff that's going on. And just in general, Windows is Windows. It's just you know how Android is Android, Windows is Windows. There's yeah. just complications within Windows sometimes, you know. Right. So I, I personally would stick the Chrome OS if I were an educator. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. I, I hadn't thought about the, the complications as far as device device management because because the presentation, they made a lot of stuff look pretty easy. Um, you know, but yeah. you know, they don't, they don't, they don't really show you exactly how to set up. Now what, what they did show was um, he was setting up like 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 a stack of those right. uh, those laptops. Mm -hmm. He would just stick in a USB drive. A few seconds later, it's yeah. ready to that, go. That's the next really one. cool. Imaging that was nice. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. So, so so they created and you can create a. They, they said it takes like ten seconds or ten sorry ten minutes to create a Chrome a Windows ten S imaging stick with the domain. So every a lot of the stuff that it, you know. That requires imaging for a computer. You know, you set the computer up, install the proper applications, stick it to the domain, blah 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 blah. You just put all that stuff into a, a stick, image it. It's kind of like how Mac is. When you know, you can just you can just create a an image and then restore it on each computer. So pretty much, you create the image. You can just plug it into something, restore it off that image, plug it in again, restore it off that image, plug it in again. So it's fast to make these things going. <clears throat> but if you caught on to what he was saying, he was saying. Any computer already running Windows 10, so you're taking computer computers that are more capable, capable with you know what I'm saying, right. um, with Windows 10 or Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Enterprise, and you're putting on to uh, Windows 10s, which like, like I said, it's it's secure, it's more secure because it, it has a different frame structure for how apps interact, very much like Chrome OS, it's sandboxes applications, so if something were right. to get affected, it doesn't jump off to the next, you know. To the framework of the OS, it just goes from app that you can kill within the app, um, and also longer battery life. All those other perks of being a lighter weight operating system. Mm -hmm. um, but outside of that, you know, when work is involved, you know, and, and there's applications to be installed, and you know, just small things because we, we don't know what 10s is going to do with drivers. You know, we've seen, right. um, you know, a lot of schools that use these computers are, are science classes. You know, they, they offer them for their science classes. You plug in, you know, telescopes and the telescopes, uh, uh, microscopes in there, and you get, you know, get samples. And these things require drivers and things like that. So I, I don't know. From I said, from a technical perspective, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of, of a very IT, you know. Right. But, yeah. And, and um, the, the more you're talking, the more I'm thinking about, you know, even even in a home environment, would it be valuable? And, I, and what, what would be the cost to say just dual boot? So you know, say my son, yeah. I have him. He boots into Windows 10 S. I know it's it's more secure. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, he can't control. do as much. But if yeah. I want to use the computer, I boot into Windows 10 Pro. Um, and I can do all you know, get Steam and all stuff that I would normally use. So mm -hmm. I don't know because you you can't upgrade easily. But then once you upgrade, you're it's it's, it's like yeah. a in it's place only, it's like an in, in place upgrade, right? You're not putting them side by side. And then in, in that same perspective, you know, once once you once you set up, I guess, parental controls in Windows 10, I mean, is it really that different or that much more locked down yeah. than Windows 10? You know what I'm saying? Like, from that perspective, yeah. it's you really know, not. <laughs> it's, I'm not really sure what Windows 10 is, is going to, I don't know how it's going to, how it's going to be as a, as a impact operating system for the school environment. But I think it's a good start for Microsoft if this is what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I'm actually, Eager to see how it works on inferior hardware, because um, it's supposed to be a, a right. lighter weight system, right? So may, maybe that's the right. piece that we haven't seen yet. Is here's the yeah, you know, Celeron your laptop yeah. running Windows 10 S, and you know here's the speed, and it you know it can function, you know, and it has you know three gigs of RAM or something crazy. We we see the, the here's the thing, right? The equivalent Chromebooks that sell hot in these schools are usually around two hundred to three hundred dollars. We're talking about four gigs of RAM. We're talking about Pentium or Celeron processors. If you're mm. lucky, an i3. <laughs> if you're right. lucky, you know. And, and sometimes they're even ARM based, with you know. And we do know Microsoft is planning to go ARM based this year sometime. So this is probably a good 
you know, first stepping stool for that. Um, the Windows, we've seen Windows on these machines before Chrome OS, and I can tell you firsthand, it is nothing you want to invest any money in. So mm -hmm. not even if you're just checking email, you know, like <laughs> it's, it's, you're better off just using your phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's that bad. So is is 10s that lightweight Windows that we all hope for? I can't even say that now because I haven't used it. So um, right, yeah. Let's hope. Let's yeah, hope. Let's hope. All right now, speaking of hardware, segue. How Ooh. about this new Surface device? Surface mm. laptop. Mm. What is so, this? Uh, because it, it it looks very familiar. In a it, it, does, it does look familiar. It, it, this is the the hybrid child of the Chrome of the uh, Surface Book and the um, Surface, right? I mean, it's a laptop. Yeah. This is, this is Microsoft's laptop. This is the flagship Surface laptop. Um, different than the Surface Book because it doesn't have that weird hinge. Um, it, it doesn't attach. It's not a two-in-one. This is still a laptop that has a touchscreen. Um, how many of us were surprised about this? I wasn't surprised. The, the rumors were showing this for a while now. Um, honestly, we thought this was a Surface Book um, you know, coming. So I'm actually surprised that it, its own product line, you know? Um, <laughs> right. Wow. I, okay, well, as a piece of hardware, the, the, the flagship Windows Tennis, it's nice. Very nice. Looks amazing. Uh, comes in some great colors. You know, um, oh, the color. The, the colors are amazing. Honestly, this colors really sell this computer. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, the platinum. Oh, yeah, like it's, a, like a it's similar to to like the the Apple color scheme, but it's like bold colors. It, it, it's just like it's, almost bold metallic, right? Like yeah, a bold it's, metallic. it's it's yeah. like they're a little more adult in a way. You know what I mean? Like if I get like yeah, yeah grown yeah. people colors, like yeah, it it, man, like, it looks good. Like, hey, yeah, color, it looks it's, good. All of them look good, which is hard to say about a lot of other computers that yeah. come in multiple colors. All of them look Every great. Color. Has a purple has like a purplish light light purple silver. Platinum. It has that graphite gold, which is like a mix of like that gunmetal gray gold. That's really good. Burgundy, which is like a reddish, uh, you know, red skins kind of color. <laughs> but it looks more refined. It looks really refined as a red. Yes. Thing, right. And then it has the one of my favorite, the cobalt blue. Yes. Man, that thing looks great. And I like the fact that all the colors come in any configuration, which is great because a lot of people just put certain colors with certain configurations or whatever. Right. I'm really wow. Um, the colors, man, they look they look really good. They look really good, and uh, the laptop itself looks really good. This is definitely a Surface product. Um, you know, it has the the big bright screen. You know, the pixel sense. You know, I guess everyone has to have a name for their screens. Now. Right. The pixel <laughs> exactly. Display, you know. Um. You know. So it's close to 4K. It's that that nice. You know that that cross the line three by two aspect ratio, which is great for the web. Looks sharp and just colorful and bright and accurate and one of the best displays in the market right now. Dude, what, what, what do you think, man? I mean, I, I I can really just suck on this the tablet. Uh, this uh, I'm not the whole time. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Man, I, as far as far as looks go, the the look of it, I I think it, it's definitely on, on par with any other laptop out there. As far as the yeah. design, the look of it, the feel of it, you know, when you open up on the inside, it has that um. That almost microfiber like like material that that's also yeah, on the yeah, uh, money cloth or something like that. Surface Pro, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Surface Pro. Yeah, I, I've never touched yeah. it before, but it looks. I, I want to touch it now. Like I look at it, I'm like, I, I want. I want this. It looks nice. I don't that's know. But well, I mean, that's, it, well, that's the only thing with it is just that is that right. like yeah, it's but cloth. they did say it's you know oleophobic, so it won't pick up all the oils. Because I know like I've got a, a new laptop at work, mm. and the very minute I touched it, it's just <laughs> these greasy fingerprints everywhere, and I was. So upset, and it's just forever. It's just gonna look like it's just ugh. like you eat chicken. So, and, uh, I'm, <laughs> right, exactly. I'm like, I'm not eating chicken all day. I'm eating chicken. Why does it look so greasy? But you know, I'm a greasy guy. I guess apparently, I don't know what the problem is. But uh, yeah, but this, this, I, 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 I think it's it's a beautiful, beautiful machine. Um, base price thousand um, dollars. So for the look, it, it looks like it costs a thousand dollars. It yeah. looks like premium. on the outside. Premium. Now, Javon, tell us about the inside. Is is the inside worth a thousand dollars? Oh, and this is 
lately, which is really, really sad to me, this is typical Microsoft right here. This is where they just don't get it yet. Um, uh, you know, from they're they're doing so good when it comes to, to design and like screens and, and premium stuff and and marketing, and then they just drop they they they, they lose it on specs. So the the Surface laptop starts off at a thousand dollars, which is fair. Is we're talking about a premium laptop, right? A flagship laptop at that, and the big issue right now in terms of pricing is that the entry level computer for a thousand dollars is very much a Chromebook, you know, <laughs> and 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 or when I say Chromebook, it, it's very much a um, computer that's not worth that much money. It's not even in its own Windows, you know, Ultrabook counterparts. It's you know, this is. Bad. So, uh, give you an idea of specs. We have we're talking about uh, four gigs of DDR4 RAM, starting off with, um, and storage of 128 gigabytes with an i5 uh, seventh gen processor. So, um, processor is fair, right? Good processor. Um, yes, that's fair. RAM not good. Not not at this price. Uh, four gigs of RAM it does not cut it in today's market at all. This is definitely an entry level, and it's starting to become not even entry level anymore. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a yeah, low end PC, you know, um, because Chrome alone will eat up <laughs> four gigs, right? Like, not, like it's nothing. Don't, so, don't, uh, don't have a, a, a few tabs open. Yeah, right. God forbid you have uh, you know, a podcast <laughs> on it. Uh, storage also on the low end, uh, even for a um, you know, we're, we're assuming is an M2 SSD, right? Um, you know, 128 gigs at a thousand dollars. You know, Razer, yeah. Dell, HP, Asus. Like they're gonna undercut you for the same type of hard drive for a lot less. I, I'm not sure. Right, because I'm I'm looking right now at an XPS thir- 13 inch. Now this is non-touch. Uh-huh. Right, so, this. so it has eight gigs of RAM, but it's still the the 128 gig hard drive. And that right now, you know, based on the Dell website, so that's probably max price is mm. 950. Right. Um, so so Amazon is probably 700 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. Uh, Best Buy probably get you a little less. Yeah. You know. You know. So this and that's is the XPS. They're they're high end. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's I I don't know. Um. Not not good so far on that. But but the fi- the pri- as you go up the tiers, the pricing starts to level out. Right. Yeah. Um Now, now get- t- tell me this. Uh, uh, and think about the price. Do you do you think that having that touch screen hurts the price? You know, what does does that drive the price up? You think some? No, no, and I don't. You, know, so. you don't think so? I I think uh, this is a first party product for Microsoft. It's a Surface Line computer. There's going to be that sticker price, like like a MacBook or a uh, Pixel. You know, mm-hmm. it's premium. You know, you got to charge it. You got to sell that uh that price, the sticker price. You know what I'm saying? It's, right. Because I I would pay less to not have the touch if that that was an option. Right? If that was because, an option, right? Right, right, right. But Microsoft would never have, would never not have. The touch, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. yeah it's, unfortunately, uh, yeah. yeah uh, John Doe said uh, it would be probably about six hundred dollars. Halo will be fun on it. You know, for, yeah, definitely. You know, six hundred bucks seems like a fair price for those specs, right? Right. You yeah. Know, yeah. Um, I mean, and that 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 price sell. They probably sell out of that. They, they probably couldn't even keep them in stock. <laughs> Keon um, says, uh, "Is this going to be about Microsoft?" Yes, Keon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's in the title. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Pretty much, sir. Pretty much. You know, but but um, I, you know, to some people, you know, it, like he said, uh, you know, lame. But I mean, is it was it really that exciting overall? You know, like not not the event, but you know, but in terms of like. The laptop, it, you know, as good as this laptop is, as you go higher up in tiers, is it really that exciting of a laptop? You know, it's it's mm-hmm. it's Microsoft kind of adding something that you know, first party that that they're making into the laptop market. Um, it looks nice. It's something else surface. So if you're the type of person that wants yeah things to match, you know, I want surface everything. Mm-hmm. I can get a laptop, you know, not, or, you know, if you're a Surface family, you know, okay, now I can get a laptop for my kid going to college. It's a decent right. laptop. I trust the Surface name and the quality of it. So yeah. give it to him. It's kind of, you know, yeah, I, I, sure. I, I get it. I, I agree with that part because uh, yeah, I am with a lot of those Google products and a lot of people are with, like, with Apple products, you know, you're just buying it in and, you know, um, 
Now, if let's say you are a, uh, you have a Surface Book, do you go out and grab, grab a Surface laptop? Nah. Well, this I, isn't the that I, for an upgraded processor. Okay, but the the, the Surface Book is that not already up above this base level? Uh, in specs, I'm not sure. Let's check. I'm actually not sure about that. I want right, to say I was comparing earlier. Let's take a look at the Surface from Microsoft. The book without the performance base, right? Yeah, we're talking about entry level 150. Uh, oh, sorry, 1500. That's going to be eight gigs of bytes of RAM, a six gen i5, and 128 gig. Uh, um, SD or SSD. So, and it's Windows 10 Pro already in built in the box. But you know, you can upgrade for free if you have a if you buy the Surface laptop, you can upgrade it to the Windows 10 Pro if you need it uh, for free right. for the first year. Um, and you get 10 percent off if you're a student. So, uh, you know, I mean, 500 dollars more for eight gigabytes of RAM and a, and a weaker processor. But you don't get the tablet. Right, and, and it's uh, a tablet you draw on you it. Don't, you, don't, you don't get the pen. And um, click it and put it back. Yeah, and you, don't, you, you get about half the battery life as a, as a Surface laptop. Right. It, it does have good battery life for sure. Which is, Microsoft is claiming 14.5 hours for all of them. So how, how, they, how do they pull this off? No idea. Do they have different battery specs? I, I mean, it, it, it is the... Um, the Intel U series processor, right? So right. that's like the ultra, ultra yeah. you know, ultra yeah. low power. So I, I would imagine because I know the one I have for work is is the same as the i5 7200U, and you know it's it's slightly weak, but again it does sip that battery. So that 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 is nice, even though how often am I going to use it on battery? You know, most right. people. Now this is like the, the but, more the Surface Book has the is this the U series or is this a Regular quad core. Nope, it's a U series also. I don't know, man. This is six gen tool. Yeah. I think five hundred dollars more seems to be better off unless you need a detachable yeah. tablet. Right. Yeah. If if, so, if I was going to go buy one now, I'd probably just just buy the Surface laptop. If I have a Surface Book, I'm probably not gonna think I feel the need to go get a Surface laptop. Now maybe when maybe when I upgrade, I don't get another Surface Book potentially. Yeah. Maybe I get the Surface laptop instead. I'm, although I'm pretty sure they're gonna, I don't, I don't see a lot of people. They're, they're gonna upgrade the Surface yeah. Book. They're gonna have to make it better. Because uh, sweet the pot, kind of bring it in. Better, uh, Porsche. Porsche makes a better Surface Book than Microsoft. Oh, that thing was beautiful. Oh, yeah, so um, oh, I still want that. Yeah, that one. That's the best one. Uh, so I mean, we we'll, we'll talk about the, the Surface, the Surface laptop. You know, uh, you know, like we still talk about like who is it really for? Like we always talk about. Talking about school people, but this is this can't be for 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 students. I mean, a thousand dollars is that student pricing? I don't know. I mean, I I think that's probably you know high school college student pricing. Um, I don't think that's I don't think it's it's, it's elementary student pricing, right? Like you don't you don't have to buy that for your fifth grader necessarily. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. um, I mean, you could, but I think at that price point, it's probably something that you you intend them to have for a little while and use. Um, you know, the, again, the price isn't ridiculous given what it is. The price is within range. It's, it's reasonable. Yeah. Um, the price isn't going to sell it. So they're not selling it based on the price. Um, it's based on the surface name and, and actually the, the, the hardware, the, the, the look of it. Now, speaking of hardware, Javon, yeah. talk about these ports, please. Cause this upsets me. Uh. This is this is a deal breaker, right? So you know, like we said earlier, Microsoft is they, they get it, and sometimes they just don't get it. So uh, the Surface Book is a as we know it's an Ultra Book, so it's thin, it's light. You know, it's what an Ultra Book is nowadays. But there is a particular what's the word we're looking for? Uh, like kind of like a catch, I guess, for the price or something. I don't, I don't know what the word is. Uh, also, real quickly here, yep. Anthony said, "What's up?" Uh, it's, it's almost the same thing, right? Yeah, you know, between the Surface Book and the Surface uh, laptop, yeah, it's probably the same thing for a lot of people. Um, I guess style, right? When because it looks already, I know laptop looks better than the book right now. But uh, yeah, so back to the ports, right? Um, the we have a Surface Dock 
All right, another missed opportunity here. Yeah, that we have we have we have, we have, we have a surface connect dock or whatever that is. Um, we have one USB three, um, USB A port, and we have a micro. Um, so not, not a micro. Uh, it's a thunder. It's a display port, which should have yeah, even been mini display port. Yeah, but no, it's a display port. Okay, so ports are boo boo, and or also a, a traditional. Um, is it a ACDC jack? I can't, I can't tell if these are the same one as the Surface, the little magnetic connectors or not. I cannot tell. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't tell. I want to actually see, though, because that would be a big plus for a lot of people who actually who missed MagSafe, right? Um, <laughs> let's take a look here. Let's choose this right here, and let's pre-order this. Nope, let's not pre-order this because they actually want me to buy it. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, look here really quickly here. I kind of want to see if it has max save. It looks like some sort of proprietary charging port. I don't know if it's max save or if it's not the max, but you know the magnetic one the Surface uses now. But right. Um. Regardless, though, it's it's. Um. I don't know. It's 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 a it's a it's a charging port. Yo, they 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 screwed this one up, man. And you already know what I'm gonna say. Everyone who watches anything that we ever do, you know what I'm gonna say. I wanted one port in this laptop. Literally, this could have been that laptop like the MacBook that had one port. And what that one port is? USB-C. You have a seventh gen. Now there's no excuse because before, with the whole, um, you know, Microsoft was saying before with other lap, other products, the Surface Book and the and the, stu and the studio, oh, with you know older gen i7, we didn't want to put the power into it. The Power requirements, blah 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 blah. Now you have the seventh gen, dude. Dude, where's the USB C? Where's the USB C, bro? Yeah, for for me, I I actually agree with you in part. I don't think I would even still want only one port. I think what they should have done is I don't know why we have this proprietary Surface Connect business. Yeah, I think we scrap that and have a USB C port. Um, yeah. and that would basically solve the whole thing, right? Because I get that they want to maintain, you know, the USB 3.0, you know, A um, for older peripherals and devices and things, especially, you know, they, they don't want to rush people out of it too soon. Apple doesn't care, but Microsoft does. And I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you, you're leaving it here um, since it's, it's not gone yet, right? Like my webcam, this microphone, you know, these Xbox controllers, it's all still, you know, the old USB standard, right? Um, but I do wish they had some USB-C input for this device. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't mind ha had they just gotten rid of the the mini Display Port. First of all, that um, th that that's so redundant nowadays, right? Yeah. How redundant is that? Like, who who puts mini Display Port unless it's a workstation? Like, like if you're running a Windows machine, you have old ports that people use. Those are workstation ports. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Things with GPUs in them. Okay. There's no big this, this only integrated graphics in here. So why do you have play for it? Come on, dude. I'm yeah. really confused here. Yeah, and, I don't get it. And I, I looked up what the Surface Connect does. Okay, I put it plugs you into a Surface docking station. Um, USB C. It's exactly. Small, it's, it's smaller than that. Exactly. It's smaller than that, dude. What the yeah. heck, dude? It's dude. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. This and they, and thing. I, I was listening to the Verge, and I was reading, you know, listening to the article about the reasoning not behind USB C. They said we just didn't have the room to put it in there. Right. What? Uh, no, you, you had room. You had room. You put you put a, a, a USB A in there, and you put a Surface Connect and a right. proprietary cable and a freaking headphone jack. Damn it! Right. <laughs> exactly. All these things could have oh. gone. Oh my god. Yeah, I, it, it, it 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 does seem silly. Now here's the thing, right? Now, does it matter if it was USB C with Thunderbolt three or without Thunderbolt? Like, does that matter to you or? For for me, for 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 this device, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter as long as USB C, yeah. right? Yeah, but yeah, for, for for with with this Surface laptop, you're not getting it. It's it's not a power horse machine, right? That's that's not what it's for. Right. So if it have Thunderbolt, I don't mind. You know, add, add that next year when you figure out the power requirement or, or whatever you need to do. But at least give us USB C to help. It would, it would help move people that, that direction, right? Because right, right. what this is, does is just slows down the entire process. It does. Yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. that that's a very you know, good it's, point. It just, it's just dragging it along. Like, at least help someone transition, right? 
they, they, they can start getting USB-C cables and start moving that way. Um, but now they can't. They just have to still use all the old stuff. And then when they switch, they got to buy all new stuff. Right. There's no, no so so period. so what so what's best for Microsoft then? Like, if this is the surface line going forward, we have not seen any products that really, well, besides the surface, nothing's really sticking right now, right? I haven't heard any news about anything. Like, I haven't heard news about the Surface Studio really being what it's supposed to be. That was another Surface laptop to me. That was a great machine with a missed opportunity. And don't get me wrong. I don't want people to think I don't like the Surface laptop. The fact that it has speakers underneath the keyboard, that's nice. Yeah, it's a cool. great, great design. One of the best design laptops, best color set of all laptops, period. Um, and one of the better screens and displays, one of the best aspect ratios for a laptop. I love 3 bar 2 but they just they just they, they they're lacking in pricing for ports and they're lacking behind the competitors as well. Um, even when it comes to prefer the to, to peripherals now with a, a lack of USB C, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I I do wonder, you know, again, this Surface laptop, it's it just fits in another you know slot as far as their whole overall device suite, right? Um, but there is the one the one glaring piece that's that's still missing as far as Surface, right? Yes, it's yeah. something something about this size. Yep, looks kind of like this. Yep. Um, you know that. That's what that's that's what I'm looking for. You know, for 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 me, you know, I, I don't I don't think I, I don't think I love Windows, but you know, I, I'm fine with it. You know, for a while I, w I was in the Mac scene, but now that I'm trying to actually do actual stuff, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm I'm trying actually, you. yeah, I'm trying to actually <laughs> use the computer, like play games, and like you know, yeah. like SQL. Like, I don't have to do stuff. Then I need Windows, and and Windows 10 is not bad. Windows 10 is not yeah. Vista. There, there's no it's, issue. I, it, you know, no it's, it's not eight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I have a problem with it either. I, Windows is fine. Windows is 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 a yeah. fine platform. It's a people like like, platform. like 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 you beat up on them, but you know, since ME and Vista, those yeah. were trash. Yeah, yeah. And and they, they they've come a long way, and now it's you know, is it flashy and whatever? No, but it gets the job done. Does what I need to do. And I can get my work done on it. So that's what I would like to see as they keep moving towards potentially a phone. Um, half the step, I think, is Windows 10 S, right? Yeah. But Windows 10 S reminds you of, say, iOS, right? Where um, yeah. you, you can install what is in the App Store. And that's it. And it allows them to have more control over the, the right. entire experience. That's good. Now, although we gave a lot of credit to Microsoft having one of the better desktop, you know, operating system um, app stores, you know, because the Mac app store is crap and right. uh, Chrome, the Chrome web store is was so bad they have to bring Google Play in. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so, so we know exactly. that already. But you know, I I don't think. That if because I, I agree so the surface line needs to bring in the phone in right, but here's why I don't think anyone anyone you know looks is, is really thinking smart about this. Ah. If 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 you if you bring in a surface phone, and you run Windows, you're not gonna sell a surface phone. Like you you understand? Know like, it doesn't matter how good the surface phone is, because the desktop apps don't relate to mobile apps. That's where you get crushed by iOS and Android. Yeah, and those, and, and those are juggernauts that just they will not be moved. So, Microsoft. So they, let's, let's say Javon. Let's let's say Microsoft. You know, a couple months puts out Surface Phone specs mm -hmm. kill every other phone out there. Price perfect. What what would you need, need that phone to do for you to actually purchase it? Run Android. <laughs> I mean, you want you want to be real, right? Like, like, like are, we, are we talking to make sense, or are we talking for this? Right, this, like this what? Thing? What? What could Microsoft do with you know Windows Phone, whatever Surface Phone, whatever, to actually get people to actually buy it and actually use? Go it? the Amazon route. I'm so serious right now. If Microsoft took a took Android and built whatever Microsoft you know, launcher for that thing and bundled in all the, you know, um, put in, you know, Cortana as your default and it has to, it still has Google now, right? Or Google Assistant, right? But bundle in Cortana as default because um, Samsung can do Bixby. I know for damn sure Cortana can do well. Um, mm -hmm. uh, 
you throw in your, you know, all the Microsoft Suite apps instead of buying a Samsung phone, you can get it all there, right? Then you'll get, then you'll get, um, let's see, whatever camera app they'll use. I'm sure they'll, they'll have a great camera. Microsoft is really good at, at the camera game. We've always been good at the camera game. I mean, dude, you, you think about it, right? Have it run Android. Give it the apps that everyone wants. <laughs> put Microsoft's name behind it. Pay Google's royalties. And at the, at the end of the day, you have a good hardware phone that plugs in and meshes well. You know, think about it, right? What's one thing that Microsoft can tout that Google, their own phone can even tout? Full integration to your desktop, mm -hmm. right? Apple has continuity. You know, you're texting on your phone. I have to buy an app called uh, Pulse so I can SMS on my computer. Tablet, right? <laughs> Which is my, my ad, it's a good app, no plug-in. Um, you know, it, it was huge. I know, but um, right. the thing though is about, is that, about that is that Microsoft can make their own SMS client, right? Because they don't have to use Android Messenger. This is their phone. And they really wanted to. They don't even have to use Gaps at all. They don't have to use the Google the Play apps at all. They can just use their own Microsoft apps if they really wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend that if you wanted to sell. Um, and then what they would do is that you can, you know, you can text and answer phone calls from your from your Microsoft laptop, you know, or Windows computer. Yep. You can do everything right from, Skype from the integration. Center. Skype integration. Skype integration. Skype is their mo is, their, is their messaging and their and their um, you know, and your uh, platform. Right? You can just add SMS to Skype with the um, the sign in through uh, you know, through the, the uh, Windows 10 notification or action center, whatever you want to call it. You yep. can really make a good Microsoft phone. It doesn't that it doesn't run Windows. So really, so you're saying it's too late then? It's it's, it's too late for for, for anyone Windows, for, Windows. for anyone really. Because if 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 anyone could do it, it would have to be Microsoft. Yeah. Who else? Yeah, yeah. So I guess well, someone well, could Jala, find another right? Jala, Jala can't do it. BlackBerry would keep trying. Yeah, Black, Black, BlackBerry gave up. Yeah, right. They kept trying. Jala, Jala they, couldn't. They, they do put it. on Android. Yeah. Um, unless WebOS can come back and all. I mean, really Tizen is 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 that is that going to be a thing? Tyson is a is a the hackiest <laughs> piece of crap, dude. Like I wanted to come back so early for to make this, this podcast just so I can talk about Tyson, man. Like <laughs> Tyson, like have y'all been keeping up with the news? Like, dude, I like, like, I, I don't keep up with, with all Tyson the, 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 is, Tyson is, is rated the number one most unsecure platform. Not 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 just operations and platform, okay? On anything, the watch, the the TV, the phone, the one phone they have, right? Like it's so bad. That tie that the Tizen phones have these glaring holes that NSA can use to literally turn on your microphone, <laughs> right? You, right? Like now, can anyone do that stuff? Yeah. Hold on. Tech, Tech X said Fire OS. Boy, uh, Fire, Fire <laughs> OS. Right? I'm pretty sure they shut that down. Right? <laughs> like yeah, like there's nothing. Ubuntu also can, right? They, they they had a, a mobile that yeah. kind of. Everyone's like uh, Ubuntu. Ubuntu was like, yeah, we can do it. Yeah. No. yeah. Um, <laughs> right. I'm sorry if, if you're if you're not running Android. Now, if EU gets their way and Android's all cut the, cut the pieces or whatever, then yeah, you're sure you can do whatever you want. But at this point, Android, if, if you want to build a good phone, it needs to at least run the core of Android. They're going to have to run Google services or Google apps, but it has to run on Android as a platform. That's why the, the Kindle does so well. You think if, if Amazon went out and started building phones, on, uh, building tablets on a, you know, on, on Windows OS, <laughs> it's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. It's just, it's just what it is. Windows 10 as a mobile platform is a failed project. It's failed, and they're, 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 they're working on it still. I, I, have, I have an part. idea, though. I have, I have an idea, though. What if, if, if they could come up with a phone with very powerful software and have it function almost like Nintendo Switch, right? So, because uh, Universal Windows apps, right? So, you yeah. know, the, the, the same games, mm -hmm. if, if you could just get the same game, have it run scaled down on your phone, you buy it once. Could could the gamers could the gamers listen? Could the gamers help to push this somewhere to have maybe a gaming phone? No, because one company in mind, Razer. You forget they just bought um, was it uh, Next, Nextbit Robin? So if anyone's gonna push a gaming phone that can that, that with, with Dex capabilities, it's gonna be Razer. Didn't someone? And it's gonna run Android. <laughs> It, Nvidia makes get, makes makes you know um uh you know the, the gaming platform thing for their shield stuff runs Android. If it's gonna sell and make money, I mean you can make you know you can take L's on projects. But now, now here's the thing though, right? Is that look at look at the Galaxy S8, right? Beautiful phone. Uh, shout out to Keon, he has one. All right. Um, <laughs> not, 
Uh, uh, <laughs> I just have to say that. I don't know why. But uh, <laughs> he, 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 he took a picture on Instagram. That was amazing. I was going to say that. But um, uh, what was it? it? It's it's Dex, right? If you buy the Galaxy, so you, you can buy a Dex, which is, you know, Samsung can scale up, you know, full blown applications. Microsoft is working with them to put on like full office on crap, whatever, right? Right. No one buys Dex. Mm-hmm. Even if they gave Dex for free, like they did with the uh, with the with the Vive and stuff, no one will use Dex. Why? Because you got to plug it into a monitor or whatever, or to a TV and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just just the concept of Dex alone is stupid because we've seen it already with with Windows. Um, continue. What was it? Continuity also. I can't remember what right. Yeah, whatever that Windows thing is, cause they, they, they do it already. Another idea, Javon. Ha! Here's another one. How about this? So. The Windows Phone, okay, can connect directly with the HoloLens, huh? Mobile VR, right? That's, it, that's the Pixel, right? Have, it, nah, nah, nah. I'm sorry, it, I'm sorry. Mo, mobile AR, mobile AR. Mobile, mobile AR. That's what, maybe that's we're that's talking about. The maybe we're talking is. something. Now. Maybe we got something right. Maybe maybe we got uh-huh. something now. Now here's the thing, In right? Ten years. If Microsoft, I'm telling you right now, honestly, if Microsoft was really serious. I mean, so serious that they dropped ten billion dollars on this project. If they were to make a Xbox phone, well, that's what I'm saying. And no, no, but I, but I mean, really, not, not, I won't even say phone. Xbox tablets. Scrap, <laughs> the phone, scrap the phone feature. All right. This is how they get into handheld. Right. If they want to make you know that smaller portfolio, they can go a tablet with Xbox running. You know, uh, whatever. Was it the um, Tegra X1, right? Mm-hmm. Or the Nvidia X1, same thing the Pixel C and the uh, the Switch has. Whatever new one Nvidia comes out with, they can run that. The problem with that is that those games don't translate well. I mean, you can put a Snapdragon 835. And, I mean, those that's actually pretty comparable in specs, right? Um, it, it's just the thing is though that window. You remember the uh, was it the Lumia 1050 XL? And he built that special custom cooling thing because they said it's not directed. Uh, it's not hot, whatever. But the, the Nexus Six had it, and the Six Peter had it, and the problems, whatever. Um, if if they were to build a phone and put a cooling system in there, right, and try to stick a battery in there, we're talking about a six-inch phone now, okay, all right. And everyone's going, you know, with the the big. So it'll be like a seven-inch screen with the, with, you know, with the long bezel, you know, with the long, elongated screen or whatever. It just, it just, I don't see anyone giving a shit enough to be, to be like, you know what? I wanna, I wanna go out and buy this Xbox phone or Surface phone that can run games because it's gonna cost what seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars with tax, right? Yeah, I can buy. You said, I said, you said, you said it already. I can buy a Switch for three hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't play Call of Duty or whatever. Maybe you can. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? You can't play, you know, Gears of War or Halo on it. But 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 I could buy it once, and it's on my Xbox, my PC, and my phone. They need, find, here's, they need here's, to find a way to put that running on Android. So they <laughs> they they have to find a way that developers have no choice but to write apps or will fall them. over themselves to write apps for. So it needs to have a very good. Um, price sharing yeah. model at, at least initially. Like, like, we saw, like, like, we saw Apple, to just, one. Just, Apple just decreased theirs, right? Yeah. The, the um affiliate fees. Um, but so the, the, the something you know that's really gonna sweep the pot for the developers to somehow entice them to at least you try can it. Give a developer uh, uh um a a Surface phone, a Surface laptop, a Surface book. And give them a thousand dollars and tell them they get 80, 80, 80 to twenty percent. <laughs> and the bottom line is, that everyone was going to build an app for 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 Windows for for Windows platform, but it doesn't matter because you and I are not going to buy a Windows phone. You see what I'm saying? Like the average consumer, even the techie nerds, are not going to buy a Windows phone because they just don't care enough because they're already invested into all of Apple's ecosystem. All the rest of their apps are there, and their movies are there, and their right, music. So, is there. so here's the thing, Yvonne. Here's the key. They build some kind of mechanism. Where for a one-time fee, they will somehow let you port all of your apps. If that were to happen, and, and were, give you like free copies in the Windows Store, so you just and migrate the data. They don't have the money. Happens. I'm telling you right now. If it were, if it was if it was possible, 
that would be a huge game changer. Because that just, be- that's the only way, right? Because we're, we're, we're all stuck. Like, I'm still mad about certain games that I don't have on my Pixel now that I had on my iPhone that I couldn't yeah. transfer the stuff over. I'm still mad about that. Yeah, I, it, it, still it, mad about it's that. it's a pain in the butt. They need to figure out how to, how to get cross-mobile gaming done right with, without having to use Facebook. Um, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, that that's a struggle. So my, Microsoft... I want to see. I do want to see a Microsoft phone. I want to see a, a Surface phone. Yeah. They just they just can't do it now. I know. Um, I, I, want, I want one so bad. I, I I just want to just be in the ecosystem, and I, I, I'm, I'm and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave Windows as for a desktop. Like that's gonna stay. I think I think what you should do is if if the price is right, pick up a, a 950 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just rock with two phones. Man, that's what I do. I rock with two phones. I am not rocking with two phones and five watches and like. Hey man, <laughs> hey man, it's it's okay to rock with two phones, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can have one for work or something. <laughs> right. Oh uh, well, I, I I think we we belabored the the the, the phone part, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, any any final thoughts on this whole Surface laptop Windows 10 S situation? Yeah, I, I'll say this. All right, I'm gonna ask you the question. I'm gonna ask you the question that everyone in this chat has been talking about. You know, in our live chat right now, and that is, if you had to pick one. If you had to pick one computer, the MacBook Pro 13, uh, it, it, whatever high-end Google Chrome laptop, whether that runs Andromeda or Chrome OS Pixel from last year, whatever, right? A high-end Chrome OS machine, right? Like the HP G1 or whatever, or the Samsung, what is it, the Pro? Chromebook Pro, Chrome Pro, whatever that, lap, that laptop yeah, yeah. is, right? And then you have the Surface laptop. Which one would you pick? And why? Well, as I was saying before, what what I would pick for me is I'm going to stick with with Windows, just because I just because I know I can run what I need to run on it. For the, for the same reason why a lot of people choose iPhone, right? They they know if I get an iPhone, it's going to have the apps that I need. I don't have to wonder did this company develop an iOS app or they only develop you know Android or whatever? Because with Android, sometimes you you got to wonder. Yeah. Are they going to make an Android app? Is it going to be up to date? I know even the software that we use at work um, for behavioral health, they've, they've told us iOS is number one, Android is secondary, and it's always a couple versions behind. That's just how it is. Um, so, you know, for that reason, that that's how I feel about Windows, is that it's going to run what I need it to run, what I need it to run, and it works good enough for a laptop, Right. Now, so now, that's, now, that's what I'm doing. Well, what configuration are you getting? Realistically, if you, if you had to pay out of your own pocket, I would, I, I would never get anything lower than than eight gigs of RAM. You know, and for for, for what I'm using a laptop for, for the most part, at this point, I, I'll, I'll probably get eight gigs, but it should be upgradable to to, to sixteen. If if I can upgrade them, then then I'm, I'm I'm getting sixteen. No, you know it's not. It's, it, these things are. Yeah, then, then, then I'm forced to get sixteen at this point. It's okay. If, so you if, you go sixteen. Buy something. Sixteen. And get the I don't five care four. a whole lot. I don't care a whole lot about about the hard drive size. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's I can get external or or supplement that. So, um, yeah, I'd probably get the the the, the more high end, um, just because of the the RAM component, because that's that's where things can really get bogged down. And mm-hmm. and if you can upgrade it, then you're kind of stuck. Um, how about you? Well, I think my answer is pretty. If you keep up with our uh, chill tech, uh, <laughs> you know what you're about yeah, all right. Um, I, I would actually go with the uh, MacBook Pro 13. Um, and for a lot of people, um, you know, who watch the older podcast, they're like, "What? What?" You, you know, and, and there's a big, there's a big reason to that. Um, a lot of it's because, um, for one, I like the best of both worlds. I, 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 I am a avid user of um, Parallels. So yeah. I, I run I run uh, Windows in Parallels for whenever I need these Windows on a laptop. Um, my my big thing is is one reason in particular is the port, man. I need USB C. <laughs> I, I would not buy anything without USB C. Anything. Yeah. I would not buy anything. Um, and and you know the, the MacBook in terms of specs with the Surface laptop is kind of under outside of the Thunderbolt, kind of underpowered. You know, um, I'm running a U, a U series processor. Um. Uh, you know, it, it, the keyboard is I that butterfly switch to. I'm not really a solid fan on it yet. Uh, doesn't have touchscreen. I think touchscreen is very nice for a laptop. I actually, did, I, well, I didn't before, but you know, the nice screen is not as good as a, the, the Surface screen. Um, it's thin. Battery life is good. Not as good as, as the Surface Pro, 
But at the end of the day, what if I want to use my computer and really take it to the next level, I have an option with the USB C and Thunderbolts. I can I can attach an external um, GPU. Now, would I get the same performance as running Windows natively? No. So I can I can boot camp I can I can uh, boot camp and it, it, the question is does Windows really run as good on Mac on Mac hardware? It doesn't for whatever reason because the drivers it doesn't. But if I had the game on it, if I had the game on it, <laughs> I could because I can plug in an external GPU and get real performance out of there, right? Um, I can plug in a hub and plug up the th three different monitors and have it be my workstation because it's powerful enough to be a workstation. I think the Surface is powerful enough and just in contextual computing to be a workstation. It's yeah. light enough to take, take with me and the battery life, battery life lasts long enough so I don't, I'm not, I don't have to have anxiety about having bad battery life. And the MacBooks of right now, I'm, I'm happy with most of what Sierra brings to me right now with Windows 10. Now, do I think that it's better as a platform? No, I don't. Um, I really, I, I probably would have changed my answer if the Surface line had USB-C. I probably would go with the Surface because you know everything just works in, in, in with integration better. But I, I work fine. I work with uh, at work. I use a Mac Pro. At home, I use a uh, MacBook Pro, and I use my Mac Macs for generally a lot of my my work. I use Windows primarily for gaming and editing because I, I I like I like a uh, Adobe better than Final Cut. You know, but um, you know, I, I just feel like. With the MacBook as a laptop, you can do a lot more, and I'm paying the same amount of money um, because the one I'll go for will be the thirteen hundred dollar, um, you know, eight gig, two fifty six version. You know, because I don't need that much. I don't. I don't really care about the about touch, the touch, uh, touch bar, whatever. That, that's a piece of crap. Right. It, it, that's a huge waste of a laptop. They should just went back to the function keys for that. Um, but yeah, I just you know the biggest thing is future proofing. When you buy a product. You don't want to feel like you already wasted your money because it, you're compromising at, at the beginning. Right. You know, you, know, you should have to compromise at the beginning. That's a huge compromise to people who really care about their products. Now, um, well, we have a comment here. Platinum said, Did you know you can run Adobe stuff off your Mac? Yeah, but uh, honest, the truth is Adobe products work so much better on Windows than it does on a Mac. That's why I want to edit on my Mac. I edit only. On my Windows computer because I prefer uh, Premiere over Final Cut. It's just, pref it's just preference, you know. <laughs> Final Cut is nice; it's good. I just I just prefer um, Premiere. I'm mean, uh, Premiere on Windows. It just works better. And also, my my you can't I can't buy a Mac as, strong, as powerful as my desktop. That's just <laughs> bottom line. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, 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 nobody has money for that. Yeah, no, yeah, it's just not. Nah, even as a Hackintosh, it's not even it will be as as good as good as a box. <laughs> but yeah, I think you know. Bottom line, I'm, I don't want to kill it. Uh, the MacBook is still one of the better laptops right now when it comes to these three. And I, I don't think Google should even be making laptops until they figure out what they want to do with their desktop. <laughs> so. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a mess. But uh, to, to, to your point about dual booting, I will say, you know, back when I, I was got my first Mac, MacBook laptop, you know, that's why I actually made the move. I was like, well, now they can actually run Windows on Mac, so I don't feel bad, and I would have both, and I would do a boot. And actually, last night, I was able to, to purchase, because my, my computer came with Windows 10 Home, but I needed Pro, because I wanted to do some hypervisor stuff. So I upgraded. So I went online and bought Windows 10 Pro, $28, retail. OK, so at this point, it's very cheap to buy a Mac and then just get a Windows 10 license, yeah. which you don't have to keep purchasing, right? Because now. Yeah. Windows 10 is, is Windows 10. Once you yeah. have it, yep, you have it. You, you have it. You don't you don't have to buy it again when the next one comes out in two years. Yep. You have it. It's yours. You're good to go. Um, so again, that that is a definitely a, a good option. If if you're kind of leery, don't forget you can do the dual boot option. Yeah. Um, whether you want to do parallels and kind of run it over top, or just simply boot into Windows directly. Um, both good options. You know, and you know what though, and and also if there was a, a fourth, I guess option here. I was, you know, uh, John Doe on here. He he did mention that um, uh, you can, you know, get a, a regular Windows laptop. And honestly, <laughs> um, let, let's let's be real. These, right. The prices yeah. on all three of these computers are just ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah for sure. Uh, I, you know, right now the uh, Asus ZenBook, the, I think it's the UX three hundred five. That one is for it. It is six ninety nine. Has a uh, 
a higher than 1080p, it looks like a 1440p uh, display, a backlit keyboard, all aluminum chassis, USB-C, a fingerprint reader, okay, a big trackpad, and it's six hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I, I, think, I think the point is, is it's, yeah. it's kind of a a false question to ask which of these three high priced, overpriced yeah. items we would we would yeah. get right because all three of these, for most most part, you're not really gonna buy one of these things, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's it, they're more or less reference models for what you might actually need, right? Because all right. of this, you know, it's you, you, you probably don't need any, any of these. For the yeah, moment. but the fact is though that these are the ones that you're gonna see in the commercials, right? These are the ones that you're gonna see in your in your in your school or at your work. And yep. a lot of companies they actually would spend the money on the high end products and buy them in bulk just because of the whatever agreement they have, you know, with the companies for support and blah 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 down the road, right? Um, yeah. Your grandma's going to come and ask you, you know, I heard about this new Surface yeah. laptop. Can I get one? Say, no, grandma. I you got say, you. yes, grandma. You go for the one that's $99, get the four gigs of money. <laughs> you know, just to check your email. <laughs> <laughs> tell, her, tell her to get a $2 Chromebook. And call uh, it if it breaks, then buy another one. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a week exhausted, this one here, man. I, I I think we did. I think I think we did. Yeah, we hit about an hour, right? Yeah, about an hour, man. Good to be back, man. Good to be back. Yes, good to be back. Oh, so in closing, Jovan, there, there, there's something you want to announce, right? I do. If you go right now and open a new uh, tab, you can go to chilltechstudio.com. Oh, That's right. right the now. Is live. We're ready to go. It is action-packed. We already stuffed some of the reviews in there. We're going to be putting a lot more content on the websites. Uh, because that's where we want to, you know, YouTube isn't making any money anymore. So we want to make sure we bring a lot of you guys over to the website, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pay it off, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna build a wall, okay, around the website, <laughs> a firewall. It's gonna be a big Huge. firewall, and and Huge and wall. Kilta and uh, Platinum Styles Media is gonna pay for it, okay? <laughs> All right, and <laughs> it's gonna be a great it's gonna it's gonna be a great wall. No, um, but ser <laughs> in seriousness, though, you know, we we do um, have the website up and running. We'll be posting a lot more content there, as well as our social media sites. You can check us out on Instagram and Twitter, uh, you know, and a lot of the other things, also blogs and stuff that Christian, you know, he's one of those talented people in that field. So we'll be having a lot more content in general over at our website. Yes, sir. So, cool stuff coming up. Cool stuff. Yeah, man. Also, subscribe to our mail listing so you can get all the, uh, the stuff. Yeah. It's over at the bottom. So, uh, Christian, it's it's been a pleasure, man. It's been great. Yeah, we kind of did the, the duo tonight. Yeah, you know that's how it happens. But we made it work. That's how it goes. We don't we need them. Go. We don't need yeah. them. Yeah. Right? Mike, so, right? Greg, what? Just, you don't need them. <laughs> Come back, guys. Take them off the website. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just <man>. kidding. Ha ha ha. Yeah, they're not gonna watch you anyway. So. I know, I know, I know. They, don't, they don't watch this. They don't watch our stuff. It's terrible. People, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, hey man, anything in closing, man? Yeah, man. Just you know, thank y'all for watching. You know, keep an eye out. Lots of good stuff to come, as Jovan said. You know, more, more, more written reviews, uh, more blog. You know, opinion posts from me, um, and some other stuff. We're gonna look, look to give you guys some more usable content, some how-to stuff, some tips. Um, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking about potentially starting some, uh, some, uh, sequel tips here and there, you know, stuff, stuff, stuff I'm learning. So, you know, as we learn, we're going to teach y'all. So y'all can learn and we all go together. Be a part of the Chill Tech family, guys. Come over to yes, chilltechstudio.com. Yes, Remember, it's studio with one O, no S. Okay, guys? Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right. It's been great. Later. Peace.